CBS 4's David Sutta has more on the ongoing effort to curb the infections, and he's live in Miami tonight. David. Yeah. This mask mandate is actually pretty significant. In the past few weeks, we've been looking at a case where you'd have to wear a mask if you were indoors or publicly outdoors, but not able to do social distancing. Now they are saying that in major cities in South Florida, you're going to have to wear a mask whenever you're in public. We're telling you to wear a mask because this is literally a question of life and death. And this isn't a suggestion. In Miami Gardens, you have to wear a mask. Miami Gardens Mayor Oliver Gilbert joining more than a dozen South Florida mayors Monday, responding to a spike in new coronavirus cases, now dramatically higher than what we saw leading up to the shutdown in March. In the state of Florida, uh, the high water mark was 1,300 cases, and we've seen days with 4,700 cases, which is more than three times the high water mark. And people can argue about the number of positives uh, being related to more testing, but they can't argue with the percentage, which is now over 10%, which is what the CDC says, tells you you have too much virus in your community. And nobody can argue with the fact that there are more people being hospitalized because either you're sick or you're not. We're not only paying attention to it, but we need to immediately stop it and we need to reverse it. The city's all agreeing now not to shut down the economy, but rather enforce new requirements. We are gonna be implementing a mask in public rule. Everyone will have to be wearing masks in public. Right now, uh, the mask requirement is only uh, when you are inside, when you are at parks, but are not uh, exercising. Um, and now it will be a public requirement. There are some exceptions, such as whenever eating or drinking. Outside of that, though, regardless of social distancing, everyone will be required to wear a mask. The rules so far apply to nearly 20 cities like Miami, Aventura, Pinecrest, and Hialeah. More cities signing on by the hour. Miami-Dade's mayor praising the new rules, saying in a statement, quote, he will be meeting with the county's medical experts tomorrow to discuss whether the use of masks in less congested, unincorporated areas of the county is necessary. I will reiterate that enforcement remains key. None of this means anything unless the new normal rules are enforced by the county's 34 municipalities. Without a doubt, enforcement will be a challenge, but just like when we implemented a stay-at-home order, one of the things we wanted to make sure was that our residents understood what was the best way for them to protect themselves. And of course, enforcement here is the big question. Uh, looking at this, this, a violation of the order would be a misdemeanor of up to a $500 fine, up to 180 days in jail. The authorities, code enforcement and law enforcement, would be the ones to enforce this. Many mayors, though, are hoping that it won't come to that, much like the stay-at-home order that happened a few months back. In Miami, David Sutter, CBS4 News.